Hello everyone, welcome back to Meg Unix to Chase YouTube channel. My name is Meg, your favorite fashion tutor. Coming to show you easy ways to cut and sew. So if you're yet subscribed to this channel, you want to do so right away so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to know. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll always be notified each time I upload a new video. So we are still on the series of sleeve drafting. If you have not seen the other videos on how to draft different types of sleeve, you want to do that also. So in today's class, we're going to be learning how to how to draft the flesh, the flay sleeve, flay flay sleeve from the basic sleeve using the principle of slash the technique of slash and spread okay so here is our basic sleeve okay so i wrote on it fleece of uh, the flesh sleeve so the first thing you want to do is to draw your slash lines okay you can have the line the number of lines to have doesn't really matter it depends on you okay so you can just make slash lines from the top from the arm hole to the end from the arm hole to the end okay so i'll be making slash lines at different points okay at different points like so i'm just making slash lines from the arm hole to the end remember we are making a flare sleeve using the slash and spread technique. Okay. So here's what we have now. So you have made, so once you have made your slash lines like this, you have made your slash lines. Okay. The next thing you want to do is to cut open. You want to cut through these lines. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to bend over like so. This is the arm old region. Remember, this is the M. So I'll just cut through, but don't don't um, cut out completely. So you just cut through the lines you have made close to the arm old tip, but do not cut it out. Okay, you want to be careful. Do not cut it out. So you just slash all the lines like that. Don't don't make sure the pieces. The each piece do not detach from the entire arm. Okay, so you want to just do it like that. All right, so I've slashed through all the lines. You can see this is the arm hole area. So we'll place this on our fabric, and we are going to we are going to spread. Okay, so now we have slashed. We are going to spread. Okay, so do not forget the parts you put on fold. This is the folded part, the part you put on the uncut part of your of your fabric. So you want to put your fabric on fold like so. And mind you, your flare sleeve can be a short sleeve, it can be three quarter, it can be a long sleeve. So it depends. And you can draft this flare sleeve directly on your fabric. But this is just showing you that from your basic sleeve, you can also get a flare sleeve. So you can, of course, go ahead and draft directly on your fabric. Okay, so you want to put your fabric on fold and you want to pin down this, this starting point first. This is the midpoint, the parts, this, the folded parts. Okay, make sure you have a lot at the top because we're going to be adding allowance to this, this is the arm old region. All right, so I'll just pin down, pin down this first piece, okay? Making sure it touches the, the tip of the, of the end here, okay? Can just pin down. All right, so I've pinned down this starting point. And mind you, this slash, this slashing did not affect the arm old circumference. The arm old circumference is still the same. That's because we did not cut it out. Okay, so your arm old circumference will still be the same. So right now you want to start spreading. Now, the the width of each piece, the width of each piece, 
depends on you how full you want the flare to be and also depends on the amount of fabric you have okay so i don't have much fabric here so i will not be spreading too much but one thing you must note is that you must have a regular spread so if you want to spread one inch from here to here one inch it means from here to here would also be one inch and even to the last point would be one inch if you're doing half inch if you're doing um three quarter if you're doing two inches just make sure that you have equal spread between each pieces okay that is the thing you want to ensure the um, the level of spray depends on how full you want it but ensure that each each unit has equal amount of spray so that you know it will not look except that is the style you want to make except you want the fullness to be around the midpoint around this center part here then here should be like this you know it's it's fine you can be creative that's why it is pattern okay so i can make here full why here would be this you know tight so it depends on the style you're making but basically when you're spreading ensure that you give it equal amount of spread all right so here we have it so i spread i gave it half an inch you can see that the spread is even so make sure your pattern is laying flat okay so once you're done like this you want to add your allowance okay you want to add your allowance um, at the top part here, the arm old part, you want to add half an inch. So at the, the side here, you want to add maybe one inch, depends on what you give to the but to the out to the to the um to the dress. Okay, you want to add one inch or 1.5. Then this down part here, you want to add maybe half an inch if you're going to use a lining. But if you're not if, if, if you want to fold, you can do maybe two inches or 1.5 inches depends on you all right so i've added the allowance you can see this down part so we'll just be cutting out okay remember that your fabric has to be on fold do not forget so i'll just cut out the m area would definitely be curved okay so this is the top part we want to cut out Which is the the arm hole? So here's our flare sleeve. Remember, I said that it can be it can be a long sleeve, it can be a three quarter sleeve. Okay, so this is the flare sleeve. You can see that it is fuller than the basic sleeve. So right now, let's take off our patterns and trim the front arm hole. So for the front arm hole, just bring your pattern together like this, okay? Uh, except that if we do it this way, it might, you know, we already slashed. So all the parts we just cut out. So I think what we'll do is we can just um, open up our fabric like this. Okay, I was saying that if we cut out, if we cut out the arm hole, the front arm all shaping from this pattern because we already slashed all the pieces we just you know we just be, um scatter so in order to to avoid that you can even do without the front shaping for this flare sleeve you can do without the front shaping but if you must you want to bring it this way okay you want to bring it this way and you want to place it okay this is the this is the center fold okay and this is the center of our of our sleeve i have not given it a notch so you want to place it making sure it touches this upper part here okay and you want to just you can see okay let's use let's use this part i'm trying to get a easier way for us that's if we want to do the arm front arm shaping for the flare sleeve so let's assume that this is the part of the arm hole that will go to the left hand and this part will go to the right hand and here is the midpoint as you can see my notch so you want to just place it making sure that it touches the midpoint there okay 
and you want and this is the part we wanted to trace out but you can use your tracing wheel okay so just use your tracing wheel to mark the points that we want to trace out on the fabric okay so when you when you when you um, use a tracing wheel the mark would appear so you want to place the pattern like this okay at the top part here touching it equally then you want to trace out you want to trace on this front arm o shaping with your tracing wheel okay tracing wheel helps to transfer marks so you just do it like that and your marks will be transferred on the fabric itself so just place your hand on the pattern so it will not move around and you want to apply some pressure okay so when i take off this now i can see the mark for the course of this um, video i'll just make the mark obvious okay and you will see that it has the same shape as the front arm hole okay so you can see the shape that it has already so i can just follow the shape okay you can see the shape it has so that's the arm the front trimming so i'll just trim it you know this is necessary so that your 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 sleeve will relax perfectly at the front there won't be any excess so you can see i've done the tracing if we bring together like so it aligns by the side as you can see so you can see this um this trim in here so this part we go to the front to the right side of your armhole why this would be the left side of your this will be to the left side of your armhole so that's how to go about the flare sleeve so I hope you learned something. Do you have any question? Feel free to drop in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe if you have not. So I'm going to see us in the next class.